Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Seeler and I'm Dawn Baker. Some Chatham County residents could see a big refund come their way. That's right. That's if a class action lawsuit over Chatham County's fire fee succeeds. WTOC investigates Max Deeknight explains. The lawsuit claims the fire fee isn't a fee at all, but instead a tax. A tax, the plaintiffs argue, is illegal under Georgia law. And if they win, everyone in Chatham County who paid it could get a refund. For decades, homeowners in unincorporated parts of Chatham County were supposed to subscribe to Chatham EMS for fire services. That's the private contractor the county uses. But the company said falling subscriptions and millions of dollars in unpaid fees left them in a financial bind. So, last year, the county took action. They decided to start billing residents in order to pay for the service. This class action lawsuit alleges, though, that the new county-issued fee is really a tax and that the way it's calculated is illegal under state law. The suit says taxes in Georgia are supposed to be based on a property's value, but this one charges a $100 flat fee plus a rate based on your home's square footage. The lawsuit asks for refunds for fire fees collected since July 1st of last year. The county, meanwhile, says the suit should be dismissed altogether. A Chatham County judge signed an order asking for a judge from another circuit to hear this case. That hearing, though, hasn't been scheduled yet. Stay with WTOC for updates. And WTOC has been following the story from the very beginning. To take a look at all of our past coverage, you can head over to our website, WTOC.com. We have all those posted. Just look for the WTOC Investigates page.